Hi, since the recording so far took a bit longer than I expected, I will just go through these uh, next couple of points qu uh, quite quickly. So if you're interested in that a bit more, then you can have a look at the lecture uh, notebook again and um, yeah, get a more thorough understanding of these topics. But first of all, the markers. I've mentioned markers before and um, markers can be used in the plot. So uh, x dot plot and the x dot scatter uh, functions, for example. And here's a list of uh, markers that you could use. And as an example here, um, we've used the plot function and then we specify the marker by just adding a string parameter um, after the x and y. And uh, yeah, this encodes how the markers of this function should look should look like. And we can actually even disable the line drawn by plot by just setting uh, the ls parameter, so the line style to, to an empty string. All right, now then coming to line styles, um, there are different options for these line styles. And as you already saw, this empty string um, will just draw nothing. But there are also options to um, yeah, create different uh, appearances for lines uh, in the plot function. And uh, yeah, here we just have a couple of examples. So you can create these dashed lines and uh, dashed dot lines as well. And um, yeah, there are lots of examples um, in the gallery, the Matplotlib gallery as well, where you can uh, have a look at. And uh, these not only work for the plot function, but for example, also for the bar function. So you can also um, draw outlines around these bars using the line style parameters. And in this case, we also set the edge color to, to red uh, because otherwise the edge would not be drawn. And uh, furthermore, there's also this line width parameter, which just sets the width of the line that should be drawn uh, around the rectangles. And this, of course, also works for the plot function. So here we already use that as well and set the line width to five. OK, since I've talked about color maps previously as well, um, this is just very quickly. Um, there are lots of different color maps that are defined in Matplotlib, and um, yeah, they're grouped into different categories, which are useful for different purposes. Um, but the norm, the default one, uh, which is used if you don't specify one, is this Viridis uh, color map, and this changed um, in the second version, so the version two of Matplotlib. Um, before that, the jet color map was the default one. And um, yeah, this is the jet color map, which now changed to this um, this other one. But they're both very common. And um, you can have a look at this link here. And uh, this will show you all the color maps defined in Matplotlib. OK, then coming to math text. Um, this is very useful when creating plots that involve some kind of mathematics. And um, Matplotlib supports LaTeX style mathematic rendering. And um, you can do that by um, just writing LaTeX math code um, in between two dollar signs. And Matplotlib will render that as LaTeX math uh, syntax. But what you will have to do is include an R in front of the string. And this will tell Python to interpret this as a raw string and actually not um, escape characters like the backslash n, for example, uh, as the backslash n here, for example. So if we run this, it will actually print the backslash n and not create a new line because we told it that this is a raw string and the raw string shouldn't escape um, any characters. So in this uh, example here, we just created a, um, a little plot and then we set the title to this uh, LaTeX style math formula. And as you can see, um, yeah, Matplotlib will, re will render this um, as actual yeah, math symbols. Uh, 